It's hard to kick your feet up and relax if you don't have an ottoman. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. Hey, I like to sit back in my chair, kick my feet up, maybe watch a couple minutes of TV, relax, read a book, read through my inspiring work that I write, whatever. And I thought I'd get an ottoman. Now, I've gotten ottomans before, and one of the things that I've gotten is usually a 12-inch high ottoman. But now that I have some chairs that are higher, now that I want to lay back and put my feet up even higher, I wanted to get something that was even taller. Now, this one apparently has six additional inches and a special surprise. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's by first tilt. It says fragile, must be Italian. And one of the things that I wanted to do with this little thing is get something that kind of matches some of the other furniture that I have. It's natural linen with script, which means it's got some writing on it. And unlike a lot of other furniture, this comes pretty much fully assembled. I do like this script. It kind of gives it a little bit of a vintage look. It has a, like a linen feel to it. You can see kind of a loose weave type of pattern. Uh, it's nicely padded up here, so my feet should feel nice and comfy. It says Tisdale there, and I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Ashley Tisdale from High School Musical. You know what I'm talking about. Now, I want to flip it over here because this is the problem, <laughs> and that there are some legs that should be screwed in the bottom, but they're not here. And where are they? Well, that's where we have the secret of this ottoman is that it is a flip top, so it's a storage ottoman. You can see it has a metal bracket right there, and I will tell you, it stays up. You can see how thick this thing is. Uh, it's black material inside here, so you can definitely put some stuff. I'd call this maybe eight or nine inches tall, so you could definitely put some stuff in here, and the legs are right here, so I'm gonna take them out and screw them in. Now, even though this thing comes with instructions, I don't think you're gonna need them. We get the legs right here. It's kind of a light wood maybe an ash or a pine, something like that. We do have a little post there with the threading on it. And then you have these little locking washers. You gotta put one on top of there and that will help kind of bite into the material there and kind of lock them in place. So there are four corners to this. If you do the math, that means we have to install four legs. Let's get to it. Number two. Number three. And the last one, number five. Just kidding, four. All right, so what I like about this is that this seems to be at least about a foot wide, maybe like I said, nine or 10 inches tall. You can definitely put some stuff in here, some books, some things that you need at the ready. You can see this hinge here is actually pretty substantial, which I like, and it's just resistive. You can just close it like that and lift it up and it'll stay. So you don't have to lift it all the way back to unlock it or anything. You don't have to overthink it. And it just closes up like that. And it looks pretty nice. I definitely love it. Kind of the most old fogey traditional thing about this are these little fog, you know, rivets at the bottom here. But uh, I think it overall looks pretty nice. And the best thing about it is it's much taller, wider than some of my other footrests. So I can just sit back here like this and yeah, enjoy that. Woo, man, look at those Virginia ham calves. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't fall in love. You can't have them. Hey, if you want to pick up this ottoman, it was $63 or something like that. I think it's a lot of storage and a lot of luxury and convenience. It's going to make your lounging that much better. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.